Slave City family, what is up? It is Bobby in the brand new basement parking lot of the Aldi here in Old Town. Uh, we were here the other week to explore this amazing new Aldi. Well, now they have amazing new Aldi finds and Aldi sales just in time for the holidays and for Thanksgiving. I'm talking about like right upstairs here in Aldi is Holiday Shopping Central. I saw some great stuff online. So let's go through these fantastic double doors right here, show you what to buy, what to avoid at Aldi right now. Now, special holiday-ish edition. Uh, before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, my friends. We have like six pieces of content going live every single week. You don't want to miss out. And there's a bell icon underneath the video to make sure you don't, so enable that. Also, I want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive has all your favorite stuff you would normally get at any grocery store cheaper than the grocery store. In fact, you save about $32 per order and you can get all your favorite groceries like keto, paleo, dairy-free, non-GMO. They got it all and the box comes to your door. You don't even have to leave your house. Uh, click my promo link down below. All Flav City fans get a free gift up to $24 when you try them out. It's 30 days risk free and I think you're gonna love it. They've been supporting the channel forever and I love Thrive Market. Okay, let's go mask up and do some holiday-ish shopping at Aldi. I love, love, love the Aldi finds wall of items here at the new uh, location in Chicago. And this seems to be right here, Thanksgiving and Holiday Central. And I'm zeroing in, beep, 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 right here on something I've actually never seen at any grocery store before. Thank you for the beep, beep, beep sound, Aldi. <laughs> this is turkey bone broth that's organic. This is the kind of stuff you want to use for gravies and whatnot during Thanksgiving. If we look at the ingredients here, it's water, turkey stock, veggie broth concentrate that has onion, celery, arr, look at the last ingredient, yeast extract. That is not ideal, but here's the deal. I've looked at all of the bone broth stocks and soups and broths here at Aldi, and they all have one issue. I'll show you in a heartbeat. Turkey bone broth is gonna be your best option here at Aldi because bone broth is made with the bones. It's gonna be made with turkey necks, turkey feet, and because of that, it's rich in collagen and gelatin. That not only tastes yummy, it also makes your uh, gravies and whatever you're using it for, like soup, very, very thick and luscious and delicious, and it's gonna have 10 grams of natural protein in here. The thing with yeast, yeast extract is that it's a, another word for MSG. It's not quite as bad as monosodium glutamate, but it's not ideal. But I'd still get it if you're at Aldi because I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's $2.99 for 17 ounces. So it is a little pricier than say this stuff here. But let's just give an example. This is the chicken bone broth. I brought it over here. This one doesn't have yeast extract, but it has natural chicken flavor. And the beef bone broth here doesn't have yeast extract, but it has caramel coloring, which is actually really bad. It's a known carcinogen. It just makes it look brown. So for the holidays, if you're at Aldi, the best you can do is the turkey bone broth. And like I said, I've never seen it anywhere else. That's an Aldi find, so you might want to get it before it's gone. Um, and then they actually have two really good options for pumpkin pie filling. They have the Simply Nature organic pumpkin pie filling. Always make sure there's no other ingredients. Organic pumpkin, good to go. And then Libby's is a very famous brand. Check the other ingredients. Where are they? Pumpkin, nothing else there, no added sugar. Now, does it matter that this is organic and this one's not? No, pumpkin is not on the Dirty Dozen. You can get the cheaper one here, so that's one nine, oh my God, wait a second. The organic Simply Nature one is cheaper than the non-organic one. So heck, you might as well just get this one here. Um, just be careful, some pumpkin pie fillings will have added sweetener and cornstarch. So make sure the one you get is just pure pumpkin. The thing is, I just read an article this week that it's really not pumpkin in here. It turns out pumpkin is actually quite stringy. Um, the manufacturers of uh, Libby's came up with a new breed of squash. It's kind of like a hybrid of butternut squash. And that's what this is, which I'm totally fine with because it's delicious, but it's not truly pumpkin. Either way, I'm fine. Go with this organic one. That price is unbelievable. I was just about to walk away, but I've never seen organic French fried onions to top your uh, green bean casserole with. Let's see the ingredients here. So organic onions. Wow, it's buckwheat flour, which is gluten-free. Oh, they're using palm oil. They're using one of the worst palm oils, one of the worst oils around. Palm oil is highly processed and manufactured, but they're actually using buckwheat, which means it's gluten-free. Does it say it's gluten? It does. Wow, very interesting. If they just swap that out for like, Ideally, avocado oil or organic expeller pressed canola oil, it'd be better. 
but that oil is not great. But man, I've actually never seen organic and gluten-free French fried onions. Um, so if you're at Aldi, it's a pretty good option. I just wish they would swap out that, uh, that uh, oil. That's no good. I'm telling you, this wall here is unbelievable. Here it is. This is exactly what I was looking for as an Aldi find this week. Never seen this here before. It's an organic, 100% grass-fed beef chuck roast. It's 100% grass-fed and grass-finished for $7.99 a pound. That is such a great deal. I would buy one of these, cut it into one and a half inch cubes, and it's soup and stew and chili season, right? This makes a mean stew or chili. And for this price, you can freeze it and get it for sure. A couple of Waldos walk by, and I know you're looking at the price, and it's almost twice the price from the conventional GMO grain fed, but it's worth it, you guys. This is 100% grass fed, pasture raised. Nutritionally speaking, this one, grass fed is always better for you, and this has no grain. It's only grass. This one has GMO grain, something I don't want you or putting in my body either. And then they didn't have this last week when we were here, but now the best in class 100% grass fed ground beef is here for that fantastic price. This wasn't here either. Ground lamb, which is actually pretty hard to find anywhere, is here. The price is fantastic, $5.99. And I'll bet it's the product of Australia, which means it's gonna be grass-fed. See, product of Australia. That's gonna be 100% grass-fed lamb. I see that at uh, Whole Foods for much more expensive than that. And that's about it here, right? They still have these um, grass-fed steaks here, but I don't like these. There's no marbling here. See that? There's zero fat. Are marbling which means they're not going to have a ton of flavor so stick with that aldi fine for the uh, grass-fed chuck roast that's going to be fantastic for chili and all the good stuff is right by the employee entrance here and they're coming by non-stop but that is not going to stop me because in the aldi fines refrigerated section is a really cool fall themed sausage aldi makes fantastic organic simply nature sausages we talked about that in previous videos cranberry sage ready for this I already saw the ingredients and I'm pretty happy for the most part. So organic non-GMO chicken breast, organic dried cranberries. Cranberries that are dried are always going to have cane sugar and sunflower oil. It's just a little bit. They do add some more sugar to the sausage. But we're talking two grams of added sugar per link. That's half a teaspoon. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Organic dried apples. What a great autumnal fall flavor. And organic apples are a must because apples are in the dirty dozen. And then a few seasonings. I'll say this is Bobby approved. The two grams of sugar is not ideal, but wow, this is really cool. If you go around the corner there, they always have some organic chicken sausages that are Bobby approved too. And it happens to be right next door to this. I've talked about it in the past, but this is fermented sauerkraut. Sauerkraut and cranberry sage sausage, best friends forever. Now this isn't an ideal fermented uh, sauerkraut. By the way, what does fermented mean? Notice how there's no vinegar in here. That means it's a natural fermentation, which takes longer. But because of that, there's natural bacteria or probiotic bacteria in here, which are very gut friendly. But the one at Costco is the best one. This one's not ideal because there's two preservatives, sodium benzoate and sodium bisulfite. Not ideal, but if you're at uh, Aldi, this is your best option. And it would be scrum diddly umptious, like Ned Flanders says. This with the sausage for the win. Um, like I said, Costco does have the best one. I was there yesterday filming the video and they don't have it anymore. They said it's a seasonal item and they won't get it back until next spring or summer. Devastated because we eat that on a regular daily or weekly basis. Now I have to buy the more expensive one at Whole Foods, total bummer. I still can't get over this Aldi finds frozen section here at the new Aldi. It is massive, flanked by the regular frozen section here. And I saw a couple things on the Aldi finds. Here it is mashed cauliflower frozen and another flavor down there i believe that was garlic thyme so this is frozen mashed cauliflower i'm guessing it's keto but how convenient is that the price is 249 for 12 ounces very nice let's see the ingredients cauliflower water dehydrated potatoes ah oh, that's a bummer i thought it'd be keto uh cream and butter is normal white pepper and nutmeg wow white pepper that's classy aldi oh, let's see the macros here so you guys, it has 13 grams of total carbs minus two grams of fiber. I mean, that's 11 grams of net carbs. It's not terrible, which means it tells me they're not putting that much potatoes in there. It's mostly cauliflower. It's not Bobby approved because the cream and the butter are not gonna be organic and the potatoes are not organic, which is dirty dozen, but it's not terrible. I mean, this is still a lower carb alternative for something for like the holidays or for a comfort meal. And they do have another flavor here. Where is it? Here we go. 
This says garlic and herb. This one says four grams. How did they get four grams of net carbs? I just, hold on a second. This one doesn't have the net carbs. This one does. Let's see here. Oh, interesting. This one doesn't have the potato flakes, but they replaced it with a bunch of junk like maltodextrin in the vegetable stock, uh, sunflower oil, natural onion flavor. So this is a no. See, this one's even lower carb, but there's too many bad ingredients for this for me to approve it. So I'd rather you get that one if you're going to get one here. And the price is right. And then sticking in the cauliflower theme, look at this little Thanksgiving style riced cauliflower stuffing with carrots and cranberries. Let's see what's going on here. This one I don't feel so confident about. So cauliflower, carrots, onions, dried cranberries that have the sugar, that's normal. Added sugar, added sunflower oil. Maltodextrin is a uh, usually GMO food preservative. Yeast extract is another word for MSG. Yeah, a little extra sugar there. Not too much sugar, but there's too many cruddy ingredients. They have the right idea. I just can't really approve that one. And it's how much? Two thirty-nine. What a great deal! That and that are great deals. I just wish they were a little, little cleaner, and they could be Bobby approved. Maybe next time. Cranberry sauce alert. They have fresh cranberries here for 99 cents a pound. Locally grown Wisconsin cranberries. Lots of uh, cranberry bogs up there. This is fantastic stuff. Doesn't matter if you get it fresh or frozen. Make your own cranberry sauce. One of the oldest recipes on my blog is my homemade cranberry sauce. I'll put the recipe down below, including are we recipes for cornbread? We have recipes for uh, Thanksgiving turkey, all that stuff. Get fresh or frozen cranberries. That's a great price and make your own. Very, very cool they have that. And then I saw they have some winter squashes on sale too. Here they are. Okay, if you've been following me on Flav City Instagram stories, I've been making roasted butternut squash almost every night. And we paint it with maple syrup and we bake it for an hour at 400, 425. It's a lovely. 69 cents an ounce, uh, a pound is a fantastic deal. I mean, this one right here, that feels like two pounds to me. Is there a scale here? Here we go. Let's see how good my estimation here. This should be a two pounder ish. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I could work here. Two pounds. So a buck 40 for this. Um, I'll put the recipe down below in the description box. It's so yummy and it's the taste of fall and the, it almost gets like caramely creme brulee on top when the uh, Maple syrup begins to uh, bubble away, but that's on sale. Low carb spaghetti squash is on sale. I have a ton of recipes for that in the blog. I'll put a couple down there. And so is butternut squash soup. We did the recipe last week for the meal prep for the fall and we had the squash soup. And these cute little pie pumpkins are on sale. Those will be a decorative little uh, tablescape here for Thanksgiving. Wow, lots of stuff on sale here for the holidays. Oh, oh wait, don't buy this. This is the one. This is, remember I made that video about Chinese garlic? This is prime time China garlic. First of all, it says it on there, but see how white it is? It's bleached. See how there's no dirty roots on the end here? That's because they scooped them out and bleached them. This is not the uh, garlic you want to buy when this video is done. Watch my video called You're Buying Chinese Garlic and it's really, really bad for you. Terrible news. Unfortunately, that's the kind that uh, Aldi sells. All right, Flav City family, that is it. Can we just talk about how good this cold pressed blackberry and blueberry juices we talked about the other week in that video. It's still here, but supplies were limited. Mm. Absolutely delicious and loaded with antioxidants. Fantastic. So that's it for what to buy at Aldi right now. Holiday themed edition. They have some pretty cool stuff, especially that turkey bone broth. Without that yeast extract, it's a best in class because I ain't seen that anywhere else. So I'm out of here. Going to go to other grocery stores now and do my thing. But um, like, subscribe, share, my friends. The only way our channel keeps growing. But more importantly, the only way we help you and your family put the best quality stuff in your body is by sharing that Flav City love. Uh, two more videos are below me right now. But for Art, for Rose, for Desi, and myself, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace and cheers. Later, y'all. Mmm. So good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs>